Hey everyone, I'd like to share a quick idea on this week's Torah portion. We find by Jacob that he was constantly dealing with sheep, and in fact he was a shepherd for his father-in-law Lavan, uh, and of course he was tricked, and f for 20 years he's a shepherd and he's dealing with sheep. And what's interesting is that when he refers to his great strength and his wealth that eventually he amassed uh, because of the blessings of Hashem, of God, uh, he says to Esau, his, his brother, he says to him, I have an ox and I have, a don I have donkeys and I have all these great things and I have sheep. So why doesn't he mention, well, what's the source of my wealth? It's sheep. So there are two ways by which we are connected and we're one with the Creator, with Hashem. One is on the form of children and the other is the form of sheep. What's the difference between the two? The first level of a child is connection that we have based on our godly soul, the divine soul, our higher selves, which are beloved, which are, which are incredible, connected to the essence. And the other part of ourselves is the part that we deal with this world and we're involved with the day-to-day -day and we're involved with all types of obstacles and involved with all types of situations, etc., etc. And so how do we deal with the obstacles of this world? We can't go head on and think that we are going to just, um, you know, just transform everything by, by the same means as our godly divine soul does. And so there's a need to be what is called nullified, and, and the words in, in Hebrew is bitul, null, nullification, which is the essential quality of sheep. The essential quality of sheep, of tzon, in Hebrew, the word for sheep is tzon. And the quality of tzon, of sheep, is going out of your, itself. That's actually the translation of sheep in Hebrew. Tzon is going out, and going out of yourself and being nullified. And so Jacob's whole, we could say, um, fa two phases of his life started with first phase he was a son he was a child and he studied Torah for 14 years in the Academy of Shem and Aver and he gained incredible uh, greatness because of that but then when he went to the house of Lavan he now had to become a shepherd meaning he now had to deal with this world and deal with this world by a level of realizing that one has to be nullified of their own ego and reactive qualities react, that we very quickly react to situations and events and people and whatnot. And if we're going to do that, then we are just going to fail and going to hit, you know, a dead uh, and, and a wall eventually. And so the way to do that is by the way of tzon of sheep. Now, Jacob managed to get these incredible this incredible wealth and he really did an incredible job of uplifting we could say the world but then when it came to his dealings with Esau his brother so then he tells him I have oxen and I have donkeys and I have everything else because when one deals with the difficult people in this world and the obstacles that are going on in this world um, we have to be, although it comes from sheep, although it comes from that nullification, again, sown is nullification, it comes from that level, but when we deal with the difficult people, we can't show them that we are sheep-like. We have to show them this person is an ox, this person is a, whatever it is that they have, they're, they have a strong uh, aspect, a strong, a strong clarity about them. And, uh, and that's what we are actually doing. Hey, Leonardo, greetings from, uh, from you in Italy over there. Uh, and that's actually, Esav is, is Italy, right? Is Rome. So when he deals with Esav down the line, he tells him, I have all these qualities. I have all these aspects. And therefore, don't try to really mess, so to speak. So the lesson, which I thought was just very, very powerful, is again, the whole aspect of sheep is something that repeats itself over and over. All of the forefathers and, and whatnot, and King David, they were all shepherds. And, and that's a part of ourselves that we are connected to Hashem, to God. 
is that level of being like a sheep that is being led by its shepherd. So Hashem is our shepherd, Hashem is, is our shepherd, realizing that the shepherd is just leading us and taking us to where we need to go, where we have to go, and we need to absolve that sense of ego that is constantly saying, no, 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 don't, don't take me there, I don't want to go there, I, I don't want to... Whereas the shepherd is like, trust me, just, just, just go, go ahead, like trust, um, and trust takes an absolving of the self absolving of the ego um, but that again is the source of all wealth and of all greatness and and that's the source of also when we portray ourselves to the Esau's in our lives the tra challenges that we have in our lives we are uh, we're actually bringing out uh, the it, or it comes from rather from that place of the sheep of that nullification aspect that the, that uh, that it, that we have within ourselves. So, um, hey Yosef, it's great. aspect that idea of that we are nullified and we have this idea of of uh, humility nullification of that ego 